You are listening to and reason still reign. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk, or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Everyone loves liberty. Our rights come from God, not the government. So why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty HealthShare is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your health care, not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty HealthShare and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information. Or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. At St. Jude, a family never sees a bill at all. It's like the world has been lifted off of your shoulders. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures, saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. 
Sometimes writers feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. Hello, America. You're about 60 seconds away from the America Off the Rails program. I am your host, Rick Robinson. We'll be live right here on KLRNRadio.com here in just a minute. Hope everybody's having a great Thursday. That's right. It's Friday Eve, one more day to the weekend, and we have a guest with us this evening. Mr. Dale Bellis will be joining us after the monologue, so you guys stay tuned for that. If you missed the episode last night, I do encourage you to go check it out again. We had Jason Doyle, formerly with KOKC. Uh, 1520 and KTOK 1000 AM here in the Oklahoma City market area actually talking about his digital offerings he's about to be putting out and actually we almost have him convinced to do a show over here as well so stay tuned with that but we're going to get this thing kicked off right about now so stay tuned Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. Keep on doing what you do, Rick. You're my favorite host. Favorite host. Favorite host. You know this freedom is anything but free. What we have here depends on those who will fight for. We stand together, there's nothing that we can't achieve, this nation of people, standing as one in the name of liberty. Hello America, welcome to the program, I am Rick Robinson, we're live right now on KLRNRadio.com, where liberty and reason still reign. We'll have a guest joining us after the opening monologue. Mr. Dale Bellis, the executive director of Liberty HealthShare and friend of the show, will be on with us talking about their products yet again. We hope you can, we've actually been getting a lot of feedback from you guys, uh, positive feedback about the, the times we have him on, so I appreciate you guys tuning in. Also, I know that you guys have uh, had some questions. We've gotten a lot of those answered for you. I'm going to check to see if we have anything new in the mailbag. I haven't actually had a chance to see since the last time he was on, but we will uh, get to any questions that we may have if we can find them. Um, also, So before we bring him on, I just want to say I have it from an unconfirmed source. That's right. Mrs. Robinson actually informed me while I was coming in the door that apparently it is all over the tabloids that maybe Oprah Winfrey might be deciding to run in 2020 after all. This is exactly why I didn't really want President Trump as the Republican nominee, because now we're going to have Battle of the Network stars every time we have to put a president up, apparently. Um, And it's just, you know... 
It's one of those things. But the funny thing is, and, and again, this is unconfirmed. I haven't been able to find, I didn't have time to look for any articles, so we're not really going to talk about it too much today, other than to poke fun at the idea, because, you know, the Democrats were all like, we can't have a Hollywood star as our president. That didn't work with Reagan. It won't work with Trump. And until it's Oprah Winfrey, now they're all on board. Go figure how that works. It's a terrible idea until it's somebody that they actually like. But as as we go forward, if it is true, we, of course, will talk about it some more. And for those of you who uh, uh, may have been living under a rock for the past weekend, the Democrats did shut down the government for a whopping two days. Well, just, yeah, I guess it really was only two because it really didn't shut down until midnight Saturday. It was back up and running by Monday at like noon. So I guess, what, two and a half? And the Democrats did everything they could to spin it as the Trump shutdown. That didn't work. We'll talk about that probably some more on tomorrow's show. We actually have a guest who's going to be coming on talking with us about Twitter tomorrow. You uh, may remember him as a contributor here and occasional co-host. Social Claude is actually going to be coming on tomorrow to talk about the shadow ban phenomenon that's been raging through Twitter. Um, so make sure you check out that tomorrow as well. Now we've got to get the first break out of the way. So when we come back, we'll have our uh, special guest and friend of the show, Mr. Dale Bellis, the executive director of Liberty Hills here. We'll be back with you here before you know it. Stay tuned. So why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty Health Share. Liberty Health Share is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty HealthShare is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their healthcare. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your healthcare not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty HealthShare and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information. Or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. Alright folks, welcome back to the program. Again, I am Rick Robinson. We're live right now on KLRNradio.com and I do have with us very special guest and friend of the show, Executive Director Dale Bellis of Liberty HealthShare. Um, and we're actually going to be opening up the show as usual, talking about the uh, products that Liberty HealthShare does offer that can make your life a little bit easier since... Regardless of how good the economy is doing, the healthcare stuff in this country is still a mess. And actually, we were talking on the break, and Dale had some topics he wants to make sure we hit on tonight, too. So, Dale, at some point, if I get too far afield, just reel me back in and say, hey, let's talk about this now. All right, but I'm going to turn the <laughs> mic over to you because you're the guest. You know how this works by now. You've been on like a million times. So, <laughs> not really, but. Well, thank you so very much, Rick. It's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, and thanks for the invitation. I enjoy uh, spending these times with you. It's always a blast. That's why, I, that, I mean, we get really good feedback from you guys being on. And we've got lots of people that ask me questions about what you guys are doing and how you do it. So I figure as long as we're getting great feedback, I'm going to have you on for as often as you'll have, as you'll be willing to come back because it seems to be working out well. All right. So um, why don't we kind of start from the beginning? Because uh, each time we do this, we do have people that may be tuning in for the first time. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and Liberty HealthShare and what it is that you guys are doing? Sure. Liberty HealthShare is a nationwide nonprofit association of men, women, and families who gather around a common cause, and that is paying each other's medical bills. We do that without the aid of an insurance company or the government. It's just a regular, systematic way of meeting health care costs in a like-minded community of people of shared values, religious values, ethical values, uh, and beliefs and meeting each other's health care costs. Think of it as crowdfunding. 
uh, every member, every month who has a medical bill, the other members crowdfund that expense, pay it, and then they're there for you uh, if you have an expense. You know that, that's an interesting concept. The crown, the crowdfunding of healthcare. Um, I, I, I think you guys were actually one of the first ones that I ever heard of that had a setup like that. Um, and I, and you know, that's one of the things that I, I enjoy talking to you about is the fact that you guys have basically found a way to help people without necessarily um, making them feel like they they have to do something. Um, and, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, reading through your frequently asked questions. And one of the things that I do is point people back to that all the time when they have questions about uh, your products uh, and your services that you offer is, you know, it says that you you're under no obligation to continue, but that, you know, they that you guys do expect, you know, minimum payments, things like that. And I, I really like the way that you guys have a website that explains it all. It's it's very it's very well done. I don't know who your web designer is, but tell them that the guy that does your uh, that has you on all the time on his talk show says that he really, really likes the website because it's really well done. It's easy to navigate. Well, well, thank you for that. But that's the primary reason why we're not insurance, Rick, uh, is we're voluntary, we're cooperative, but the engine that drives it, the glue that holds us together, is our shared beliefs that says we're really here on Earth to help others who have a need. Uh, that God's given us those resources and opportunity, and we need to exercise that. And this simply gives us an outlet in the most crucial area of our lives in healthcare to live out that value. So it's voluntary, it's cooperative, and we're giving our funds suggested share amounts uh, that we give out uh, for singles, couples, families. One ninety-nine for a single, two ninety-nine for a couple, four forty-nine for a family. Uh, and that goes into our online secure account and through our proprietary online software, matches it to another person. Honestly, Rick, that's what our members refer to us among the most significant and meaningful aspects of the program is that their money is not going to a company black hole somewhere, but going to another person who has a bill, a real live breathing individual uh, that they're assisting and helping with uh, every month. You know, and honestly, from the people that I've talked to, that's one of the things from listening to the interviews that you and I have done and the questions that we've kind of gone over, that's one of the things that they like the most is the fact that they, they get the sense that not only will they be helping others, but they have people that are there to basically hold them up and provide the things that they need as far as health care. And it, you guys, like, and I say this almost every single show, but you guys have taken something that insurance companies have made transactional and you've made it... Uh, and and you've made it transformational. You're you're bringing relationships back into people's healthcare, which is what I think the government honestly gets wrong all the time when they get involved in things. It's like they try to find ways to disconnect everybody from one another and make it this robotic process. And you guys have found a way to bring humanity back into it again, because one of the things that, that I love hearing you talk about, and that's why I'm steering the conversation that way, is the fact that when these people put money in, they can actually go in and they can see where their money's going, who it's helping, that they can, as you put it so eloquently, they can send messages of cheer, they can offer prayer, whatever it is they feel led to do. And that's one of the things that I love about what you guys are doing, because it's not just about the money. It's about giving people the ability to manage relationships that they that they may build up over time through these communication methods that you guys offer through your, through your software and that's uh, that's something that I think you guys have gotten right that a lot of people that are doing the insurance game have gotten wrong because it's not Robbie the robot transaction A to person B you guys are doing it the right way people are staying involved they know where their money's going they have the ability to track it down they can see who they're helping and it 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 keeps everybody involved and engaged and I think that's one of the reasons why you guys are throwing up astounding numbers. I think you'd mentioned on last week when you were on that you guys had um, how many people had enrolled between November and December? Well, we had uh, 20,000 uh, households join us uh, between November and December. Presently, we're at 90,000 households across America, 220,000 individuals, uh, and uh, it's just been growing like a prairie grass fire. 
Well, that's 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 like I said. It's, I think a lot of it is because you guys are doing something right, and you guys have found a way to keep people engaged instead of making it this sterile process where nobody knows what's going on. Because I think that's one of the things that has so negatively impacted the cost of our healthcare over the last 30, 40, 50 years is insurance companies have taken everybody out of it and nobody thinks about what they're paying anymore. You guys have the ability to go in and because you are technically private pay, you can negotiate with people and people can see, you know, this is what we're able to do because of all of us coming together. And like you said, it's crowd it's crowdfunding people's health care. And again, you know, I, I hate to keep beating the, the same topic, but it's just amazing to me that that many people, I mean, you're talking about you said 20,000 households just in the last few months. If you figure in America, average households about three, that's 60,000 people on average that have just joined you guys. Those are incredible numbers. I mean, you, you guys should be really proud of that. Well, we, we are proud, and it really has to do with the core flaw that exists in our nation's healthcare system, and people are looking for answers and solutions and that has to do with the third party pay system that is through the insurance mentality or paradigm someone else is paying the the uh, insured's bills the patient's bills so, so someone else is managing their health care making decisions on their behalf uh, and uh, and managing the money associated with that individual patient's uh, health care costs uh, we, we have abandoned that model uh, and instead are self-pay patients making our own choices and decisions about the care of our health. We are managing and controlling that in direct relationship with our doctors and hospitals because we get to choose which doctor we go to, which hospital we select. Uh, and so we're in charge of our health care and that has driven costs downward because it's our money at stake, Rick. Whenever we have skin in the game, people make different choices and decisions uh, about consuming health care than when somebody else is paying for it. Because if it's coming out of someone else's pocket, what motivation would I have to manage con uh, and manage uh, those costs? I don't. I just simply say, take care of me. Can you imagine if there was insurance that you had to pay for before you could go out to dinner? Can you imagine what your your end of the night a dinner bill would be. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> well, it puts me in mind of uh, a, a recent report that just was released uh, from, uh, it's called the Healthcare Cost and Utilization Report. It's a study for what it transpired from 2012 through 2016. Uh, and the clear indicator is that in 2016, Americans used less care but their costs still uh, skyrocketed, still soared. Uh, so there's an inverse relationship between the utilization of health care and the cost. Costs still going up, even though people are using it less. And that is a witness to the flaw of the third-party pay system. Yeah, I mean, now what sense does that make? And that that's going to be kind of my final question before we got to take a break. We're up against a break here in a second. But I just, what's it? What medical cost, or the use of medical actually went down, but somehow the cost still went up. I think that's one of those things where, hey, the government's involved now. So that's, I mean, if you look at every everything the government touches, the price source. I mean, there's just no way around it because people realize well, that they, they well, have a hold it, of the it, cash first, you, You've put your finger right on it, Rick. It, it is the three big influences in healthcare to get today coming together to protect their business interests. And that's big insurance, big hospitals, and big government. Uh, those things have come together and caused those costs to continue uh, to increase. Yeah, and you know, you're know you exactly right. It's those big three things coming together. All right, folks, we have come up against a break. We're going to take a break here, pay some bills. When we come back, we'll continue the discussion with Dale Bellis, the Executive Director of Liberty HealthShare. I know for sure he's got at least one more topic he wants to get to, so I definitely want to get that in. We'll be back here in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. That's where we can meet. You bring your sticks, I'll bring gauges. Our son was in the back during Desert Storm. But even then, he wanted an MBA. 
He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. All right, folks, welcome back. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. Again, we're live right now on KLRNRadio.com, and we have very special guest executive director Dale Bellis with us from Liberty Hills here. Um, when, actually, when we went to break, we kind of broke tradition. Dale was actually starting to talk about some topical stuff, and believe it or not, it was his idea. Um, so he had a co- definitely a couple of different stories that he wanted to bring up. We kind of touched on one of them already, and I know for sure there was definitely at least one other that I wanted to make sure that you had a chance to get in because um, these segments do tend to go by a little quicker than we think about when we start mapping them out. Um, so um, I, I honestly, I know you'd mentioned it in passing. I don't really remember that much about the second topic that you wanted to bring up. So I'm going to let you uh, take lead on that one. Well, thank you so much, Rick. Uh, you know, the Affordable Care Act uh, mm-hmm. was uh, one of the uh, greatest intrusions into individual health care conscience that we've ever seen in our fair republic. Uh, the, the mandates of the Affordable Care Act so intruded on individual lives uh, that uh, people of faith and values and conscience across America were really trampled upon. Uh, if you recall, the little sisters of the poor uh, who did not wish that their money would be used to pay for abortion uh, took their case all the way to the Supreme Court, and that case is still not over. Uh, Hobby Lobby uh, insisted that they did not, even though uh, they were a, a business, that as a, uh, as a corporation, they had the right 
to determine how their money would be used with their employer plan. They didn't want it to be used for abortion and abortive fashions and assisted suicide and other conscience-busting uh, expenses. They had to take their case all the way to the Supreme Court. Uh, Conestoga Wood is another example. Uh, Health care sharing uh, is exempt from the mandates of the Affordable Care Act, and for that I'm incredibly grateful uh, because we have the uh, ability to set our own guidelines, our own rules for the way in which our money will be used, uh, and so we are a safe harbor uh, from those kinds of intrusions upon our conscience. But I just want to add, and, and this is a brand new announcement from the Trump administration, uh, that they have established in Health and Human Services uh, under the Office for Civil Rights a new conscience and religious freedom division uh, that is in place the fun and unalienable conscience and religious freedom. Specifically name healthcare sharing ministries as a protected group of individuals. Uh, and for once, we have an administration that is friendly to our most core beliefs uh, and have uh, chosen uh, to prohibit or intrusion into these areas of personal and private conscience matters. Uh, and it's something to celebrate, frankly, uh, that uh, we are now in a position that government is coming alongside of us uh, and protecting our rights of conscience and religious freedom. You know, and honestly, that was one of the biggest objections that I heard all over the place when it came to the Affordable Care Act was the fact that it was removing people's uh, rights to object uh, conscientiously to certain programs that were going to be provided for no matter what. Uh, so, I, you know, I have to admit, I hadn't really heard much about that until you had mentioned it while we were on the break, and that was one reason why I really wanted to bring that up. I have to say, and I know I, I've said this before, I don't know if I've said it with you on the show before, I wasn't a huge Trump fan in the beginning, and I actually was one of the people that kind of fought against him getting the nomination all the way up until the day that he did. Um, and then even all the way up until the day that we realized he was going to win the the electoral vote i really didn't think he was going to be able to pull it off but i have to say with as much as i was opposed to him becoming president of the united states um partly for the reason i mentioned in the, in the monologue because now it seems like the dems are going to float oprah so i think we've kind of started a cycle that we may never get out of um but overall i have to i have to admit i'm impressed with a lot of the, th the things that he's done he's bringing the economy back online he's actually giving people the ability to express religious freedom again um and in in a very innate way doing the same thing right here because now people have the ability to say look i don't want my money to go there and now you guys are even recognized as you know now you have the ability to do those things as well and i just it, it, it amazes me the the turnaround that we've seen in just a year because if you listen to the media everything sucks but if you if you go actually talk to the american people they're starting to see it and I think this will be another thing where they start seeing subtle differences in the way things are being handled between the previous administration and this one. But what do I know? Well, it is, it is just uh, incredibly rewarding to have friends <laughs> as opposed to intrusive uh, enemies uh, in, in government. And it, it's our position that no one should be forced to choose between helping sick people or living by one's deepest moral and religious convictions. Uh, and th that is, that's one of the most fundamental rights that we experience as Americans, a part of our very, of the first uh, amendment to the Constitution, uh, expression of our religious freedoms. Uh, and so in the arena of health care, uh, we're just grateful that we have friends uh, in government who is, who is prepared uh, and positioned to protect those conscience rights. And you, and that's honestly one of the biggest changes that I think I've seen between this administration and the previous one is their their willingness to basically just get out of the way of the American people and let the, and let them do things. I mean, that's that's like the tax reform. One of the biggest things that they've done is they have 
you know, put money back in everybody's pockets. I mean, sadly, some of it's there. Nobody's really going to start seeing it until after the midterms, because a lot of the, the major tax overhauls really won't start kicking in until then. But some of the things people are already starting to notice. Um, and it's just, again, we have a, a president and an administration that seems like they actually want to be a friend to Americans and American policies instead of treating the American people like enemies. I, I never in a million years thought we would have a president that would basically say, I don't care what your religious beliefs tell you. You have to pay for birth control or you have to pay for an abortion because you have to be part of this program. I never thought we would see that in my lifetime. And I'm really, really happy to see that we seem to be finding ways to slowly start rolling that stuff back. It's not happening as fast as I wanted it to, but I'm glad to see that it's still happening. And I, I think uh, organizations like yours are also helping to pave the way to make sure that happens because you're giving people alternatives that allow them to express themselves. And I think that's making it easier on everybody. So, Well, in that reflection, uh, Rick, for too long, governments and administrations, either big or small, Republican, frankly, and Democrat alike, have treated conscience rights uh, more often than not with hostility instead of protection. Uh, but thankfully, that uh, change is coming, and uh, and through this new announcement with Health and Human Services, uh, it appears that it's here and now, uh, and we're grateful for sure. All right. Well, we have uh, actually gone a little bit past the bottom of the hour, so we're going to take another really quick break. When we come back, we'll finish up with Dale Bellis, the Executive Director of Liberty Health Chair, uh, and uh, we'll continue from there. I, think, I, I hope everybody's having a great Thursday evening. I know, I know it's almost Friday. It's not quite there yet, but we're getting closer. We'll be back here in just a minute, a couple minutes, right here on America Off the Rails on KLRN Radio. Stay tuned. You're out here acting so tough. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, 
dollars, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. Welcome back, folks. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. Man, I can't believe we are already well past the bottom of the hour. I still have Executive Director Dale Bellis with us. He's going to finish out this last segment. Wanted to bring him back uh, for just a few more minutes to give him a chance to finish up. Um, now, uh, at this point, Dale, uh, if you don't mind, what I'd kind of like for you to do is kind of maybe touch on those price points and stuff again. Any other information you want to give out and remind folks where it is that they can find you guys' information because they hear me give it out about four times a show. Sure. Our members are asked every month to set aside a suggested share amount, we call it. Uh, It hasn't changed, frankly, over the last three years. It's been adequate to meet all of the expenses of the group. Now, that doesn't mean it can't change. Uh, We're all subject to health care inflation like everyone else. But at present, it's $199 for a single. It's $299 for a couple or $449 for a family of three or more. We don't count more than three. That goes into their online account and is then matched to another member with medical bills. We cut the checks directly out of that receiving member's account, and we're sharing about 18 to $20 million a month uh, with that methodology. That number floors me every time you mention it. Also, folks, in case you missed it, if you're like me and you have more than one kid, bonus time. Just saying. The rest of them are free. (laughs) There you go. Well, folks can go find out more information at libertyhealthshare.org. That's the best place to go, libertyhealthshare.org. They can ask for a free information packet. We call it a decision guide. It gets delivered electronically to their email or by mail if they prefer. Uh, They can uh, call the toll-free number uh, there on the website. reaches right into our contact center and talk to one of our trusted advisors and just get all your questions answered because healthcare sharing and Liberty Health Share is a whole different paradigm, uh, a different mindset in terms of meeting healthcare costs. So get your questions answered, peruse the pages of the website, uh, but libertyhealthshare.org is the best place to go. All right, folks. Well, this has been the executive director, Dale Bellis of Liberty Health Share. I'm sure we'll have him on again soon. So if you're just now tuning in, where have you been for the last 40 minutes? No, I'm just playing. You can always catch it as a podcast <laughs> later. It'll also be up on several different markets where it restreams. So if, if you haven't heard the show, you can catch it later. Also available on iHeartRadio, iTunes, and pretty much everywhere else you can find a podcast. On that note, folks, we're going to take another really quick break so I can say goodbye to my guest. And we'll be back here in just a couple minutes to finish up the rest of the show. Hope you guys are enjoying the Thursday edition of America Off the Rails. I'll be back with you in just a moment. Stay tuned. You're out here at- My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq, Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. 
Flexible, affordable, relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly, because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. Welcome back, folks. This is America Off the Rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson, coming to you live right now from KLRNRadio.com. We're winding down the Thursday edition. We've got just a few minutes left here. I um, also want to remind folks, if you're just tuning in, you miss Executive Director Dale Bellis with Liberty Health here, so I do encourage you to go back and check out the podcast later and get some information. Um, actually, believe it or not, and it was his idea, so I'm, I'm probably going to get hate mail about this because it happens anytime I have a guest that doesn't usually do politics that starts talking about politics. Why did you make him talk politics? I, I didn't. It was his idea. He, he mentioned the, the two topics that he wanted to touch on on the break. So don't send me hate mail. Or you can. I don't care. I get hate mail all day, every day anyway. Apparently I'm, I'm hated by liberals. I'm hated by never Trump. I'm, I just... I just... So one thing that I wanted to touch on, because I mentioned this in the monologue and told you guys if I had time, I would look for some research. Because the missus, when I came in today, had advised me that she'd seen on some uh, magazine covers that apparently Oprah Winfrey had given out a statement that she was actually planning on running for 2020. Although up until now, everybody had said that she had said no. Well, apparently she's now put out a statement through her magazine. I think it's one of hers anyway, W Magazine, um, that has basically said that she is not planning on running for 2020. But let, let's not forget, there was a, a time that Donald Trump actually said, I'm not really considering running for president at this time. And now we have President Donald Trump. So, and it's not really, you know what, look, it, it's it's not Oprah herself. I, I like Oprah. I like Oprah's story. I like what she's managed to do. I like that she, you know, was she, she's the epitome of the American dream. She rose from, she rose up from being poor to basically make a success out of her life and herself by doing the things that she that she wanted to do. So I don't have an issue with Oprah. I don't even necessarily have an issue with Oprah running for president. What I have an issue with is if this happens, and so far it's looking like, thank God it's not going to, but if it happens, this is going to be Battle of the Network Stars. I mean, you know, I mean, literally. You know, so, sorry, Ron, I know you're not tuned in right now because you'd sent me a message earlier that you're not feeling well, but I'm pretty sure you're going to catch the podcast later and then you're going to yell at me for saying the L word. But that being said, you know, we're talking about somebody, you know, if, if this happens, th- let this sink in for just a second. If this happens, we will have somebody that was a network star on NBC running against somebody who was a network star on ABC um, and then went off to start her own network. That okay, that was an unintended pun there, sorry. But let that sink in. We're we're talking about having what could amount to the Battle of the Network Stars in on a twenty twenty presidential campaign. Um now Oprah would be the youngest person to run for the Democratic ticket in quite some time, so that would probably help them. Um she is also female and African American, so it would check off a lot of boxes. So it might not be a terrible move for the Democrats, except for the fact that Oprah has lots of skeletons in her closet that she doesn't want to come out. Like the fact that no matter what type of impassioned speech she gave at that recent award ceremony where she said, now is the time. I'm, 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 we played the audio. I'm not going to go find it, but you guys know what she said. Simple fact of the matter is if you go look, you can find her schmoozing one of the biggest 
guys involved in all this Hollywood slimeville over and over and over again. Mr. Weinstein. She was, every time she could get a picture taken with him, she took a picture with him. So now she wants to stand up and act like she's this woman's advocate. That's why, I mean, honestly, folks, it's become hard. It's become hard for me to watch TV on a regular basis, and unless it's a show that I absolutely love, because anytime I'm watching TV, all I see, all, all I think is, did you know what was going on in Hollywood when you took this part? Have you had to turn a blind eye to anything that you knew was going on in Hollywood to be able to keep this part? Were you involved in any of the stuff that was going on in Hollywood to make sure that you could keep this part? It's a scary time that we live in, folks, when everything that we, that we, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's human nature, it's American culture. We've idolized Hollywood for a long time, and, you know, we shouldn't have. That, that's the truth of it. They didn't deserve to be idolized. They're people just like me and you. That's just like politicians don't deserve to be idolized. This new younger generation of rock star politicians, like we have with Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, all those guys, I like them, don't get me wrong, but when you start putting them on a pedestal, sorry Marco, but when you start putting them on a pedestal, then you're going to you're going to make them into something that they're not and then eventually they're going to be torn down. We need to stay focused on what these people are here to do and give them the ability to do the things that we send them to DC to do. And that's like I was talking about with Dale, and you guys know this, I am not a Trump supporter. I am not a Trump train. I, I, I've never bought a ticket for the Trump train. Now, the more I hear people rail against him and the better I see things going and the more I see the media railing against him, the more I'm considering buying a ticket for the 2020 Trump train. Now, I don't know if I will or not. There, there, There's plenty of time between now and 2020. I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know that, in my opinion, the president of the United States is not getting a fair shake in the media. Is he brash? Yes. Does he say things that he shouldn't? Yes. Should somebody take his phone away from him? Yes. We can check all of those boxes. But he's still doing a great job facing all kinds of odds that were against him from the beginning. Do I like everything that he's done? No. But just like Dale and I were talking about... The, the, the whole paradigm shift for this administration has been amazing because we had somebody not too long ago that called called Christians a bunch of bitter clingers who held on to their guns and their Bibles. Now we have an administration that says, hey, you don't want to pay for this stuff due to uh, being, you know, you objecting about it because of your principles. That's why we're going to give these people protected status over here. You can go partake in these groups like Liberty Health Share, and then you don't have to worry about where that money's going because we're not going to make them do those kind of things. That's why things like that are important. That's why the economy is finally starting to come around in a lot of ways because the president understands as a businessman what makes things work and what makes things doesn't. Don't that 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 they don't work. Getting tongue tied over here. All right, so it's time for the last break of the show. This is America off the rails. I'm your host, Rick Robinson. Back before you know it. Stay tuned. Why are you letting other people tell you what's best for your health care? Exercise your freedom with Liberty Health Share. Liberty Health Share is a community of people who voluntarily share one another's medical costs. Liberty Health Share is founded on the idea that most people truly want to help one another. Healthcare sharing allows members to do just that as a true community that supports one another in times of need. Liberty believes people should make decisions for themselves and their families. Members are able to take back the freedom to make their own decisions about their health care. Freedom from guilt or doubt about how your money is used. You have the freedom to direct your health care not to be dictated to by bureaucrats. Stop letting others tell you what to do and join a community of like-minded people. Exercise your freedom. Join Liberty Health Share and take back the control of your health care while helping those around you. Call Liberty at 855-58-LIBERTY. Again, that's 855-58-L-I-B-E-R-T-Y for more information or you can check them out at libertyhealthshare.org. Again, that's libertyhealthshare.org. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm. But even then, he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, 
Think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree, too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible, affordable, relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. All right, folks, welcome back. Well, believe it or not, we are just about out of time for the America Off the Rails show, but I do want to talk about one other thing because, you know, we started talking about this before the we had to take the last break. But, you know, he, here's the thing, folks. I want to know where where, obje- where objectivity went in this country because we don't seem to have that anymore. I'm going to do something I don't do very often. I'm going to call attention to somebody by name, and that is somebody that I actually used to respect and enjoyed interacting with on Twitter, and that was Rick Wilson who just today basically put out a tweet that says, anybody that says, I'm not a Trump supporter is a Trump supporter, if they follow it with something like a but. Look, I'm not, I don't say I'm not a Trump supporter, but I'm not a Trump fan. There's a there's a difference. I support Trump because he's president of the United States. I believe the office deserves respect, even if sometimes I don't feel that the occupant of the office does. I did the best I could under Obama to do the same thing. I I saw people, not nearly like we see with this president now, but I saw people that were always negative about him. I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt when I could. Granted, those times were few and far between. But the one because I mean, look, you know, take take away the stuff that you didn't like that he said. Look at the, look at the way the economy functioned under the Obama administration compared to how it's starting to function now. And I know a lot of you liberals out there right now, your heads are exploding. Oh, my God, Rick, you don't understand. The only reason it's working so well now is because of all the things that Barack Obama did to set this president up to be able to look like he's a rock star. You're a liar. I understand that from you guys' perspective, it's always whatever happens, whether it's positive or negative, especially if it's negative, it's the pre- previous president's fault, previous Prezi's fault. But, you know, you can't you no. Know, It's been a year. What happened is America saw a paradigm shift because we saw businesses realize that we were putting 
emphasis back on our economy again, not on giving people free phones. Now, for all of you leftists out there that are weeping, gnashing of teeth, all these things, look, I don't know what's going to happen with the midterms. And I know you guys right now, a lot of you are salivating because it's like, oh, president with this low of approval rating at the midterm, they usually lose 30 seats and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear any of that because this president's thrown everything and turned it on its head. He wasn't even supposed to be president. Even I didn't think he was going to be president. We had Chad Alexander from KOKC 1520 on a couple weeks ago, and I was telling him about the times that I was yelling at him through through the through, and he couldn't even hear me because I'm yelling at him while he's on my radio while I'm driving home getting ready to do my own show talking about the fact that he had no idea what he was talking about guess who was right him not me so all of the rules and all of the things that we have I, I think a lot of those have kind of been thrown out on their head because this president did something nobody thought he was going to be able to do he's also managed to bring about a reformation of the economy which nobody thought that he was going to be able to do I, for one, am saying let's give him time, get out of his way, and let him do what we what he needs to do to keep making America better. Now, I will tell you that if he keeps talking about a path to citizenship for DACA folks, he's probably going to lose me there. But everything else that he's done so far, I'm a huge fan. Of him, not so much. His policies, can't really argue with him. All right, that is going to do it for this particular episode of America Off the Rails. We'll be back with you here in just about, well, actually, what we got coming up next, we got uh, Jesse's POV, or, yeah, Jesse's POV at 9, and then I'll be back at 10 Eastern. Honestly, I know there's something that comes on on Thursdays at 7. Can't remember what it is right now. Sorry, folks. It's been a long week. Don't judge. We'll be back before you know it. Stay tuned. This is KLRM Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Oh.